Newbie reporting for duty. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Each had their classic, what I call the big dog snipers. The SPX-80 for Modern Warfare 2 was meta. In Modern Warfare 3, it's the XRK Stalker. And this is my opinion, and it's in my configuration. Let's compare the two and see how they stack up against each other. Let's take a look at the SPX-80 configuration first. And you'll notice off the bat that I broke Grandpa's cardinal rule about no lasers in free-for-all. Let's take a look at this Razor Hawk laser. And you can see that it adds or subtracts 9% from the aim down sight speed, giving a 4035 millisecond ADS. That's very fast for a sniper rifle. The PVZ 890 stock, again, increases the aim down sight speed, hurts the kick and recoil a little bit, and of course, uh, the hip fire spread, which is really not existent. The Marauder Optic decreases the aim down sight speed by 10%. The 435 milliseconds is a composite of all of the attachments, what they do to help the aim down sight speed. You can start to see a theme running here because with the 18.5 inch Bryson factory barrel, I decrease the aim down sight speed another 6%. That's how we get to 435 milliseconds. And finally, the FSS ST87 bolt, that's required if you're going to rush with this weapon, if you plan on quick scoping, if you plan on ever getting a second shot, it decreases the rechamber time by 11% and the rate of fire by 23%. I say the theoretical rate of fire because I don't see anybody ever getting 75 rounds in a minute if it takes almost a second and a half to rechamber. As far as the XRK Stalker's configuration, we start with the Entless CAS-14 scope. That decreases the aim down sight speed by 10%. Has some other benefits too. No drawbacks. This one's a no-brainer. The XRK Stalker Light Bolt, that gives us an increase of 50% on the theoretical rate of fire and a decrease of 31% on the rechamber speed. This one's a must if you're going to be rushing with this weapon. The Factory Grip decreases aim down sight speed by 2%. Once again, 456 milliseconds is a composite of all of the attachments on this weapon and the sprint to fire speed look at that 239 milliseconds it decreases that by 13 percent an awesome addition the handler lkp short barrel does the most to help with aim down sight speed that's what really gets it at 456 milliseconds it also helps by decreasing the sprint to fire speed a little bit of problems with the effective damage range but most of your fights are going to be inside those ranges anyway, especially if you're playing free for all or you're rushing on a small map. You might notice I only use four out of the five slots. As I've said before, don't mess with perfection. The rest of the attachments, in my opinion, took away more from the weapon than they added. Let's see how these two did on the field of honor. I played a couple of free for all matches with both of them. And when you take a look at them, the significant differences are highlighted in yellow. Bullet velocity for the SPX, rechamber time, that's significant, goes to the XRK. The damages generally weigh to the SPX and the damage range to the XPX. So any one of those yellows could be a decision maker for you, could be a deal breaker. For me, it's the fire rate and the rechamber time that I consider. As far as recoil and performance, horizontal recoil goes to the SPX, as does aim down sight speed. And this isn't my configuration. So perhaps you could build a XRK that's just as good, but this is the way I like to play it. The reload quickness, though, that's a big one, especially in free-for-all, because I'm going with minimum ammunition to get maximize the aim down sight speed. Sprint to fire speed goes to the stalker. And let's take a look. Here we're playing with the SPX-80. 
a free-for-all match or a little behind. Nothing says I love you like a Renetti pistol. This was a really slow lobby there, somebody there. Boy. And I shooting a miss. Where's that guy shooting from? I finally got him. To me, some of the other games I played, small mash, mash, small mosh, small map. There we go. That's easy for me to say. Mosh pit. Seemed to be a better test, but I carry them in free for all because I like the mano all mano. Like I said, I spent 45 seconds here just looking for somebody to gack. Everybody was hiding. There was somebody that was ahead of me to start with, but I think he got banned mid game for cheating. I think a lot of people must have reported him. I did not let that go to the record. That guy there, I love you with Renetti. Sit down. Looking for enemies, face to the enemy. I get somebody after the bell there, but still not a Snickers win here. So I decided to take the stalker into a free-for-all match in my configuration. Couldn't get the same map. That would have been perfect. But we're bebopping. We're chucking. We're jiving. We're looking. We're throwing out proximity mines. And some poor soul comes running straight at me. These guys, for the most part, they were a taco short of a combination platter. I mean, they were just standing around shooting. There were a few movers and shakers. But the stalker, it too performed, I thought, quite well. In fact, to be honest, I could see very little difference between them. The SPX just felt better to me. The Stalker, though, is tried and true in Modern Warfare 3. I think it's going to depend on the map. It's going to depend on how you feel that day. And that's a Snickers win. It's so satisfying. And it's going to depend on your enemy. So would I choose one or the, over the other? Well, yes, I would. Like I said, depending on the map, the enemy, and how I'm feeling that day. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace to you.